when the voice of the people is heard and the will of the people is respected, especially during election. A safe environment to express yourself. Having leaders and government that are chosen by the people in a legitimate manner. I have a feeling that uh, nowadays all world is fighting for democracy or against democracy. And I want to stay on the front line of this democracy development, which is kind of the only reason that can save our peaceful future. For this purpose, I think three political freedoms are very important. Freedom of expression, freedom of association, and freedom of assembly. La lutte contre le contre le, le rétrécissement de l'espace civique. Donc, il faudrait faire en sorte que l'espace civique ne soit pas fermé pour que les voix dissidentes puissent être manifestées. To make sure that this space is enlarging for young people so that they have a voice, they're represented, and they're involved in the decision-making process. Inclusive governance and gender-responsive engagement and budgeting. The de oligarchization of this country and then ending the state capture. I would say peace because without peace, that everything crashes in the system. I think democracy is a process, it's not an event, so we need a sustainable, a long-term sustainable program to support the democracy. I think continue supporting democracy, democratic progressive forces that exist in Armenia, including those that fight for human rights, gender equality, and all other issues that EU is prioritized. More support to civic society, citizens, because we are the people who are facing these challenges in terms of social economic and even governance issues. Exhibition of today's cases, uh, reforms on independent judicial system and on legal judicial system. Ce qui pourrait être amélioré, c'est qu'il y ait plus de dialogue entre entre l'État et les organisations de la société civile, mais plus surtout pour l'UE accompagner les organisations de la société civile à soutenir les communautés locales dans la formulation des, des priorités. Definitely democracy is the model which we believe in in Moldova where I come from. But what the uh, European Union is expected from our side is to, to remain strong as well as a uh, construction. We are looking for an honest partnership because uh, we don't look for success stories. We want to be feedback when we don't do good. And uh, this is basically a partnership in which we are relying on equal treatment from both sides. And one key thing for the EU to improve is on co-creative processes that engages and ensures everyone's voices are heard in policies and processes and, and engagement. We can uh, be more vocal and more assertive with the government who is doing things in the wrong way. And on the other hand, they should promote the democracy fighters and help them more and provide with more resources and more support. I speak on behalf of the youths. Uh, generally, it's just about the involvement, not just in the uh, policy-making dialogues and discussions, but also in the implementation stages, in the monitoring and evaluation stages, in the commitment, in the committees, the governance and all that. And also being actors as the watchdogs to ensure that these systems run smoothly, there's accountability, and to ensure that there's sustainability, because in the end, that's what we want. EU priorities should be very simplified for uh, local population, for our countries. It should be very understandable, like easy understandable for uh, people, for, I don't know, for kids from kindergarten, for elderly people, uh, for people who have never been in big conferences. I'm pretty sure that uh, when people will adapt these values, then people will be ready for defending these values.